Hello friends, welcome to BISPtrainings.com and in today OBA tips and tricks we are going to talk about how to dynamically filter and add a column in your analysis. Before we see how to build this, I am going to show you an example how it works. I already prepared a small case statement over here and let's see how it works. So if you look at carefully, I have got two dashboard prompt. First is called product. First is called, you know, select column there are three static choices product brand product line of business product type when i select product brand and apply my second uh, dashboard prompt gets populated from product brand when i select selected product brand and in turn apply you see your analysis gets visible over here with the selected product line of business similarly when i select product line of business so that was product brand product line of business that label would also be dynamically changed It'll modify this when I select product line of business you see you have a list of product line of business you select product line of business and click on apply this is a product line of business similarly I can select product type click on apply my second dashboard prompt populated based upon my first dashboard prompt value and I click on apply my analysis also filter for product type this label also we are going to change dynamically okay. so this is how you can you make your second dashboard prompt populated based upon first prompt value and in turn your analysis also one column can have a value from different uh, you know depends upon your selection let's see how to build this so in order to do this we'll do it in three steps in fact four steps step first we create first dashboard prompt with a static choice and whatever we select in a static choice we are going to write in a presentation variable let's create a new dashboard prompt new dashboard prompt with static choice so I select column prompt select product line of business okay and I'm going to write an expression over here in a static choice sorry so by default value come from columns database column but I want to give my own value and therefore we give a static choice so the static choice the first choice would be product line of business because a string I should put in another double quotes product line of business okay. second would be product brand third would be product type in a similar way okay let's do this product brand and product type. okay similarly I've given a product line of business I apply union and give for product line of business product brand and product type so I apply three union and this is how it's going to look like so this is going to display the static choice and third one is product type so when I run three static choice would be displayed Whatever you select, it will write to a variable called v filter type. The name of my variable is. We run it and see how it look like. So far, it is going to have a three values: product line, product brand, and product type. When I select one of these values, my second dropdown should pop it on the fly. So I create another column prompt on product brand and read the value from first prompt. So I write a case statement. Okay, it's gonna be case when you write a you read a variable value you add the rate name of presentation variable and put under single quotes. So name of my presentation variable is V filter type. Okay, equals to there are three static choices we have given product brand. Okay. Uh, Next is product brand, product line of business. If product brand is selected, then we would like to display the product brand column. Similarly, if product line of business selected, product brand line of business should be displayed. Okay. In order to save time, I already written a case statement over here. I just copy and paste over here. This is my case statement and you see when 
the presentation variable equal to product brand label static choice product brand is this a product brand if presentation value equals to product line of business then this is a product line of business otherwise product type whatever you select okay and you go to the under option you see under sql result you find the sql results are being shown over here okay the the query gets populated on the fly okay click ok so i got two column over here product line of business and product brand okay my second column value should be populated based on first column select this and name it dynamic column dynamic prompt and now let's run it and test it if everything is good when you select product brand apply okay we'll quickly check seems to be something wrong we quickly check the value of it and i just want to ensure i have chosen right uh, right i have chosen right presentation variable okay i corrected there was a space i corrected this extra space and i click on product brand my product brand gets populated on the fly right when i click product line of business product line of business gets populated on the fly and similarly product type so my dashboard prompts get ready okay now this dashboard prompt value in turn filter my analysis right so whatever you select in dashboard prompt it will be passed to a presentation variable and in turn it is passed to your presentation v filter and i read this v filter value in analysis right so let's create an analysis now i click on new analysis i'll select two column one column would be dynamic one column name would be dynamic so as of now i make it a static name so i give a static call dynamic column okay and the value of this would be same as the case statement which we have written over here so if you select if you select product brand it should display product brand if you select product type and lob and this will product type and lob respectively okay now i'll select one major over here revenue and what i want the filter should apply to the same so i go to click edit filter and the filter value should come from presentation variable so select presentation variable name v filter type this is done once it is done we place everything in your dashboard before we actually uh, test it okay so every user has a my dashboard option let me save this dynamic analysis too every user has his own dashboard so you create my dashboard and there are two pages that already exist you can create another page click on add add test dynamic filter and place his object over here column and section respectively okay and first i place my dashboard prompt and second i place my analysis so i prepare dashboard prompt dynamic prompt one and my analysis okay i save this and run it so first test when i click on product brand click on apply a product brand gets populated i click on product brand and enter and apply analysis display respective product brand then i click on product line of business click on apply all the product line of business are visible over here and this is a product line of business and the same fashion i select product type so you see my second dashboard prompt and my analysis are getting filtered on the fly depends upon user selection this is how you can create dynamic prompt this is a simple example subscribe to youtube channel to access more videos we have got close to 300000 videos across all bi products should you have any training and consulting requirement please touch base with us you can visit to our site www.bsptrainings.com you can also subscribe to our youtube channel and access more videos thank you and have a great day ahead